Hello, everybody. Hello. Is... Hello. Hey. <laughs> it is us again, awkwardly stumbling into another gentleman's chat. As always, I am somewhat of a host, but I always give the option out there for anyone else that wants to host. <laughs> Ryan. And t um, today and this week, we have, I guess we can go in alphabetical order, so. I'm Tarzan! That was not happening. <laughs> I'm Brock! Um, uh, and I'm Andrew. So it's reverse alphabetical. Yeah. yeah, it's still alphabetical. Yeah. So, yes, we are here, and we're going to chat, and we're going to have meaningful conversations, and you're going to listen whether you like it or not. Well, actually, you could close this tab, but don't. Please stay, stay a while. Like, help don't us, Help us stumble into the limelight. Yeah. Even for just a brief second. Yeah. So, yeah. Enough, enough about that intro. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, how everyone's doing. So, um, in reverse out of alphabetical order, Thompson, how have you been? I've been okay. Um, I'm, I'm sick. I was so sick I had to leave work yesterday. But then I, then I, then I got a good solid night asleep and I downed like half a quart of OJ so I'm feeling better that's now. A, that's a lot of OJ. I thought you were gonna say gin. Half a quart of gin. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh god. It's no, I'm, medicine. <laughs> I'm better now I guess. That's good. That's good. Cool. Um, Brock, how are you? What have you been up to? Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm doing some class homework and uh I went to a job fair today and uh you know got some good prospects out there so we'll uh we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Andrew, what about you? Haven't we haven't heard from you in a couple of couple of weeks. What have you <laughs> yeah, been up been, to? It's been a while. Um I'm doing fine. Uh staying obviously very busy. I'm also sick. Um but I took a lot of pills and didn't drink any OJ and just took more pills. Rabbit pills! You took a quart so, of pills. <laughs> so yeah, I, I drank a quart of pills. <laughs> and uh, so I'm feeling better. Um, I'm fixing to move out and into, into my own place soon. And getting glasses. Oh yeah! And glasses are cool. Go ahead. I just, I just finished eating dinner. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Thompson, how's your dinner? Uh, or breakfast? <laughs> okay, that's good. Go ahead, Andrew. Sorry, I interrupted. interrupted I was going to say, also, I also went to the job fair and met Brock there. I didn't have any prospects, but uh, I met Brock there. Well, well at, least you, at least you found a friend out there, you know? Mm -hmm. A friend willing to, to have a shoulder that you could lay your head Ryan. on. Yeah, because I needed I needed to cry. Yeah. How how about you, Ryan? What about I, you? Yeah. Um, I've Guy. been <laughs> I've been super busy because um my supervisor actually uh, left recently, so most of the uh, responsibilities they had um, have been graciously graciously be given to me. So on top of my job, I have other. Uh, responsibilities which yesterday kept me super busy and today um, still keeping me busy so that's all I can say uh, but yeah um, I'm planning a trip uh, for Dallas sometime soon so maybe maybe we can all have a, a hangout so a good old-fashioned hangout a good old-fashioned hang hang time but other than that, yeah, just me being busy, me working, and I'm almost finished with Mass Effect 3, so I'm super excited. Uh, mm -hmm. And I have to say that because I have to say that. And like I said, I think I said last time, if you if you talk to me and I'm super upset, it's probably because I beat Mass Effect 3. But mm. I'm hoping that I'm not upset. Andrew, have you heard about that? About what? Um, a lot of a lot of the fans uh, that have beaten Mass Effect 3 or Mass Effect fans uh, hated the ending so much that they've um, they've told Bioware and that what well, they they told something to a bureau 
saying how bad the uh, ending was. I forgot they filed like a a claim for the for a bureau. Does anyone else remember about it? I've heard uh, of this. I don't know what the ending. Hold on, I'm gonna look up what the ending is. Don't tell don't me. Know. Don't look it up. Cause what if I hear it? Don't tell me. I'm not. I'm gonna read it quietly to myself. Okay. But um, yeah, people are people are just hating it and. Um, uh, Bioware came out, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago, saying, Hey, don't worry, we're going to make a extended cut of the ending, and it's DLC and it's going to be free. But a lot of people are, people are still saying, it's like, just change it, the ending is horrible. It's, it really ruins the whole series for me, instead of extending it. So, But hopefully that doesn't happen to me. Maybe, maybe. that's the problem. Is that people wanted to extend, but they're just trying to end the story. Yeah, cause... Well, I mean, it's just like a book. Like, if you think about it, some guy had to sit down and do all this hard work, and he, everybody's enjoyed his story up to this point. And then at the very end, if you don't like the ending, it's like walking up to the author and punching him up in the face and saying, you're a jerk because you didn't write it the way I wanted it. Yeah. So I have, I have mixed feelings about the ending, because while I agree that it's kind of sucky... It's also somebody else's work that they put a lot Man, of hard work into. What a bunch of babies. Yeah, but, um... Displeased fans organized an internet campaign called Retake Mass Effect, and they raised $80,000. Oh yeah, there was a there was a Kickstarter, but anyways, okay, we're getting off track, so... Sorry. It's okay, but, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna play Mass Effect. We'll see if I get disappointed. I'll, uh, update everyone. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a blog about it, but, uh, anyways, let's go into... The section where we talk about stuff that's coming out from Cold Morning, and you know what it's called? It is called the Cold Front. Laser Front. It is. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> For this week, it is called the Laser Front. So, today in the uh, Laser Front, um, Cold Morning, Cold Morning wise, while we are still doing the Gentleman's Chat, as you are listening to right now, um, I'm still messing with uh, my screen cap. Ideally. Uh, but one great, uh, um, I guess, development is a series that we are it, we are in the very beginning stages of this series that we're thinking of. And I think uh, Brock and Thompson have a better grasp on it than I do. If you, if one of you wants to talk about it, but not too much. Well, it, it just uh, depends on how much um, you want to talk about it. Uh, I don't want to talk about it too much because, like like Ryan said, we're still in the beginning. But I will say that is one of Cold Morning's favorite characters is getting his, you know, their own his groove back. <laughs> huh? He's getting his groove back. <laughs> yeah, he's. Yeah, yeah. Cold Morning is. Yeah, that that. He never thought he could dance again. Until he met a magic leprechaun. Well, that's just misleading. Well, now they, they'll keep guessing. So Okay. Anyway, continue on. Okay, so we have that. It is, um... We're actually collaborating with, uh... Another, uh, producer. Uh, we won't say anything yet. Uh, because, like we've been saying, it's very early in the stages of development. But... I think it is a is a very original take and a very different take than what Cold Morning is used to, and I think it's it's refreshing for us to try this new style of storytelling. Um, but yeah, we have that. We are still looking into making Minecraft stuff. Uh, that is still up on the table, but. Uh, other than that, let's go into personal projects from everyone. Um, we'll go with um, alphabetical in the normal way. So, Andrew, do you have uh, any uh, thing that you've been working on uh, creatively? Uh, not like physically, but in my head, I've been doing like trying to formulate a lot of ideas for. Some writing stuff. I went back to my old blog and started reading through some of the things that I posted that I said I was gonna do and never did. Um, so I started to think about that. Uh, but in terms of like the crooked and lazy thing, I think I'm gonna rebrand that. And uh, Brock gave me the domain 
or money to buy the domain for my birthday. Oh, cool. Did. And so I'm going to rebrand it and um, with a, a little bit more positive name and, um, and buy the domain for it. But other than that, really just been cutting pizza and and training employees on how to cut pizza in the most efficient manner. And that is a very creative way. Do you tell them to cut pizza in creative like a star? Like a star cut? No. We have to cut it into squares. Could you get... Could you make a giant cookie cutter for a pizza? Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. You should invest in that. Tell them that it'd be good for their company. Set it in a new direction. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would work. Although, I think something like that would be more for, like, a commercial thing. Because if it's a giant cookie cutter for a pizza, then... Because I can cut a pizza in, like, probably, literally, maybe one second. <laughs> and if I have to lift up the cookie cutter and then, like, like, get it on to the pizza just right and then slam it down and then all that, it'd probably take a lot longer. So, like, like, two maybe seconds? Was, yeah, exactly. Maybe it was automated and just, like, the pizza would slide on the thing and then it would just, like, stamp it, like, <laughs> and, like, and then send it off onto the tray or whatever. <laughs> okay, that'd be pretty cool. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, Brock, what about you? Anything? Any any new developments in creative land? Um. Well, I recently put out the uh, my newest comic, and uh, I actually I actually tweeted to Ubisoft. I said I asked Ubisoft if the rumors were true, and then I treated them the comic. So um, you know if you get if anyone gets bored and you want to retweet to Ubisoft, that would be highly entertaining to me. I'm going to do that right now. Um, you know, other, other than that, you know, just kind of, I'm, I'm working to become a better digital artist so that I can be, that I can get paid to be creative. How about you, Thompson? What have you been up to? Uh... All right. <laughs> Tell us about your book idea. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Man, it's like <laughs> fairy tales, but for grown-ups. Yeah. Like Brothers Grimm kind of fairy tales? No. Okay, well, I'm done. I'm done now. <laughs> All right, Ryan. <laughs> um, I have been. I, I'm really thinking about getting into uh, or purchasing a, uh, a DSLR and not only for uh, the unnamed project that we are thinking about, or working on earlier but uh, just to add something a visual uh, outlet to my repertoire of things oh I just dropped something but um, yeah, so I'm in the in plans of maybe getting something like that. I've also uh, have been trying to upload new stuff to my website every day. Just recently, um, but just recently, um, this this change at my job has caused me to be a little busier. So I haven't been able to do that. Oh, excuse me, but uh, yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm trying to think of uh, other other things that I could uh, film or other things that I could do creatively. So yeah, just go check out my website and yeah, that's about it. Cool. Mhm. Mm so still doing creative things, all of us, which is a good thing. So, anyways. There you go. There's a uh, there's the laser front for this week. Pew. But let's go into the uh, the meat and potatoes of this uh, gentleman's chat. The meat and potatoes section. The meat and potatoes section brought to you by Andrew, because oh. he can cook those. Yep. Yep. But uh, in all seriousness, the middle section, and uh, this was brought this this topic was brought up to me from uh, from my job. Um, 
recently, a uh, I got a call from a reporter asking if they could find out more information on a a I guess trend. A trend, yeah, a trend that was uh, happening. And this trend, when I first heard about it, I thought, what are they talking about? But this trend was how teenagers are getting drunk on hand sanitizer. <laughs> and when she told me that, the reporter, and she asked me, it's like, if I knew anyone that could uh, give her more information about this, I that said... could hook her up with some hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> um... So she wanted to know more information, and I was like, I'll try to find out who I can get, but I'm not sure. So uh, I called I called someone that I thought would be uh, related to such a case like that, and this was the first time that they ever heard about it. And in, in all honesty, it just blew my mind. Like, who would do this? And that's, that's the topic. It's like these news stories of... Because news stories are actual events that actual people, you know, actual things that people do, you know, and that's where the news comes from. Um, and just hearing that, I, I'm i just shocked and I don't have any words to say for that. And so I wanted to open it up to everyone else and ask, what news story have you read or that you've heard where you just look at it and go, what? So, whoever wants to start, go for it. Um. Okay. Okay. So, there's a lot of there are a lot of news stories that I think are ridiculous, mainly having to do with anything anything celebrity related mm -hmm. is is a waste of time because really, who cares? Mm -hmm. Um. But uh, there's a there's a meme. Or, uh, I don't know if it was a meme, it was more of a viral video, I guess, about the leprechaun in the tree. <laughs> yeah. And, I, I mean, that broadcasting, or that, that network had to be desperate for something at all. Because, I mean, how, how can you, you're going off the word of probably a heavy drug user, and it's... Visibly Maybe. clear that they're a heavy drug 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 user, and you're gonna and go and report on it. Maybe maybe their producer is just really superstitious and still believes in leprechauns. But a leprechaun in the tree, and then he's like describing. It was probably just like some kid or something like that, like in kid, the dark. Kid in green suspenders. Yeah, or you know, chocolate just, candy. <laughs> someone just, someone left their kid in the tree. <laughs> he was just blasted out of his mind or something. I mean. You're gonna waste a whole bunch of money to go report on something that has zero likelihood of being factual. Man, I really enjoyed that story, though. Yeah, what? And, well, and, yeah, but it, well, you got to think about it. It's like the news, uh, news reporting is a business, so they have to find something to fill their, you know, show with news for people to keep coming back. So it was either a very genius idea. Or, like you said, they were just out of material. So, but, yeah, that... And, of course, th that probably helped them out because it skyrocketed it into viral, like, fame. Probably. And did you know that now there's a new uh, auto-tune of it by the auto-tune the news people? Oh, really? Yeah, and it's, it's pretty funny, but... Uh... Is it as good as a backing up lady? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's up there. And backing up, lady, you're the you're pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. She's but, pretty uh, good. Yeah, so that is that is one that I have to agree. It's like, what what was going on in their minds? So, but yeah, what about uh, Brock? What about you? Um, well, a couple years ago, there was this story about uh, a new way for teens <laughs> to get high, just like it kind of related to your story, and it was called Jankum. <laughs> And people would poop in a jar <laughs> and then mix some water in and put a balloon over it and let it ferment for a couple days and then oh, they God. would they would inhale the fermentation from the balloon 
And, oh, God. Um, I could not believe how dumb, how desperate do you have to be to get high that you want to put poop in your mouth? Yeah, really. Seriously. It's, I think it was actually that's... called getting face. I'm sorry, Ryan, you're gonna have to believe that. That's fine. That's on, that's on par with the people who would do the sensory deprivation thing to get high, where they would turn that low bass, like, just, it's like white noise, but the decibels are much, or the, the brown is much lower, I guess, and then they would, like, black out the curtains and put sunglasses on and just turn it up really, really loud, and they would, like, I don't know, sensory deprivation highness, that's hmm. what I'm gonna go, anyway, sorry for interrupting. No, you're that's good. <laughs> That's okay, but it was ah, you just it's poop in a jar. Yeah, poop. I don't yeah, know. It's very true. I, anyway, uh, it turns out that later it was exaggerated how popular it was, but that the people were still doing it places. I I just couldn't believe. It. That'd be funny if the original story was one kid did it, and everyone was like, "What?" And yeah, just they couldn't believe this one kid, and so it got to the news station. It's like, did you hear? All the kids are doing it. <laughs> and the, the news reporter's like, excuse me? All the kids. All, all the, the kids. kids are all doing of it. the kid. The one kid. But that is. That is. Uh, and it's almost like teenagers are. And now, some teenagers are smart, but some teenagers are either super stupid or they're really bored. So. <laughs> or maybe a little bit of both. But, um. Yeah. Um, but, Thompson, what about you? Anything anything like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you remember this. It was from about four years ago. There's headlines everywhere saying Barack Obama <laughs> elected President of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> really? A stupid news story. Did you read it in, what, the National Enquirer or something? Or... I don't know. <laughs> I I was hoping it was a hoax, but it later Star, turned out Star to be magazine. You know, legitimate. <gasps> but uh, <laughs> no, seriously. On a slightly more serious note, and then I'll get actually serious. Uh, I was watching. Uh, I was walking through like the den of the other day. And my mom was watching the news, and they had two stories back to back. One was apparently this dog got lit on fire and then died. Um, which is very sad, but what? A, a dog got lit on fire. No, I, I like, just and like, died. Just how did it? Just some someone doused it in lighter fluid, and then oh man, that's not nice. And then they were having like a vigil for it, and my mom and I looked at each other and we're like, really, a vigil for a soulless animal? <laughs> Because we're Catholic, we, that's how we roll. Anyway. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that explains uh, a lot. And uh, <laughs> and then they followed that up with like the next story was uh, an apartment complex burned down because a dog knocked over some sort of electrical appliance. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, they I just took a story. A dog on fire <laughs> ran into an apartment complex. They 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 ran these stories back to back and did not even attempt to. To, to comment on the larger issue at hand, which is the uh, ongoing battle between canines and humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! I'm glad, but, yeah, just, I'm glad you I just, it that way. I just found a, a, a news article about the. Uh, it's called "Teens' New Cheap Buds Hand Sanitizer." I'm telling you, it's stupid. It's a thing. Yeah, teenagers My. went to uh, the hospital because of alcohol poisoning. Yeah. It says, and all it takes is just a few swallows. You have a drunk teenager, a tox toxicology <laughs> expert, tells the Los Angeles Times. Yeah, it's more. It has a higher proof than vodka, I think. And yeah, it does. So. Making a, yeah, a, a hundred and twenty proof drink. Cool. Uh, Good job. Good job, youth of America. <laughs> My actual uh, stupid news thing is the the Mass Effect uh, <laughs> sex. That went, oh, sorry, that went on on, oh, on like man, I have to edit two things. <laughs> on like Fox News. Oh, how they where they threw a fit because there was a side boob. Yeah. Well. Oh, and they brought on they brought on that expert, and she was like, 
she was an expert on sex and video games on, or something on like that. She <laughs> yeah, hadn't seen the, she hadn't played yeah. it. She hadn't seen and they, it. yeah, they asked her if she had played the game, and she was like, "Of course not. Why would I play a game about sex?" Of course, it's called know, sex effect. <laughs> <laughs> sex effect. Side boobs galore. <laughs> Touch my side boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I All saw right. him. I saw him in Mass Effect Three. That's getting off track. Anyways, yeah. Let's let's move on to the, <laughs> let's, the question. Let's move on from the beef and potatoes, meat and potatoes <laughs> section to what is this section called? Brock. Question section. It's, it's called the question. <laughs> the question sex section. Sex <laughs> sex like it's a pun. Anyway, I got you. It's sex. Um, sexy question. Um, so anyway, this week's question is, um, all right, you've just been hired to a promotions position at the Kellogg Company. What do you put on it, on or in a new breakfast cereal box as your gimmick? I'm gonna go. say, I'm gonna say hand sanitizer. <laughs> hey, so you can say it's the cleanliness cereal around. Yeah, but also you'll get hot. Uh, Right, what am I saying? You get drunk. <laughs> you get drunk. That's what I'm gonna put in there. Would you have a mascot like a, a drunk teenager? <laughs> I would have Kelly Speckles as the mascot. And like he just downs, he or he just like takes the ball and just splashes it on his face. He's like, look how drunk I am, but he's he's not drunk. No, he says, look how, uh, and then he just falls over. <laughs> okay. All right, like what it. what about you, Andrew? Um. Oh man, I don't know. Probably sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Just big, actual size sandwiches. Yeah, full size sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Ooh. Wait, is this is this in the box or on the box? In. <laughs> <laughs> so like. The cereal is basically you pour out a sandwich and then you just fill it fill or two. In the bowl. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot. If you it's, get it's lucky, really, you get two. Well, it's, it's really a do-it-yourself sandwich. Okay. I mean cereal because you gotta you gotta pour out the, the sandwiches into the bowl and then cut the <laughs> sandwiches up into bits so it's easier to eat and then pour the pour the milk over it. <laughs> oh god. Okay. That's a good uh, one. Would you uh, have a mascot? Yeah, uh, Sandy the Sandwich. Then, <laughs> 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 okay. oh, or um, my other one that I was gonna say, and I couldn't, I couldn't decide, but I'm gonna go and say the other one is a uh, milk cereal. <laughs> 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 you just pour milk out of a box. Yeah, and then you, you pour milk out of the box and you add more milk. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't, you can't add too much because you don't want to make it soggy. <laughs> you, you gotta remember which mix you add first so that you know you can pour your real milk on top of your cereal. <laughs> okay. That's, that's what? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, good. All right, Thompson, you you want to go? Man, okay, <laughs> get this. My mascot, Joe Camel. <laughs> <laughs> the cereal are like I don't know, two or three inch long sticks of like whatever Lucky Charms are made. No, no. Uh, Cat crunch berry stuff is made of. Okay. And, but it's like, you know, most of it's like a beigeish brown, but on one, you know, part of it is, is frosted, so it's white. So it looks like a filter cigarette. <laughs> and uh, when you pour the milk on, the um, it starts deteriorating at one end and just sort of gets smaller, so you have to eat it quickly. <laughs> um, and, uh,. I haven't quite thought of a name for it yet, but I think Joe Camel uh, got a bad rap, and he, he's, he's due for a comeback. Yeah. If he was so good at marketing to kids, why not put him in a, a situation <laughs> where you know he would actually be useful? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh gosh, these are 
These are pretty good ideas. Uh, Alright, Ryan, it's your, it's your turn for a bad cereal idea. Man, mine wasn't as good as everyone else's, but um, I was thinking about having ice cream <laughs> in your cereal. And um, actual ice cream, but the only thing is, and I would audit, I would purposely make this bad at marketing, is that it wouldn't go into the refrigerated aisle. It would be next to the cereal aisle. So all of the cereal boxes would already be soggy. <laughs> <laughs> They've they already been uh, doused, doused with sugary milk. Yeah, and um, or maybe, because you know, it could be like a thing, you know how Krispy Kreme has this like, hot fresh donuts are now uh, available. Yeah. Like maybe like stores could have like a sign that says ice cream cereal is now available. Get it before it melts. <laughs> Get it before we have to clean it up. Please. So, <laughs> and then oh. on the on the box, I will say do not do not refrigerate. <laughs> like have a warning, and then I'll never say why. So they're just like, well, I guess I shouldn't refrigerate it. And so then they have to clean up their own messes. And that that is my cereal, ice cream cereal. Oh and my I. God. I don't know. I don't know what I would. I would use as a um, as a mascot. It doesn't matter. It would just be wiped off the box by all the <laughs> all the sogginess. Yeah, yeah. just run. I could almost see it like as in like a bowl of ice cream, almost like a like a Thompson, like the talking hamburger, but um, <laughs> but instead of it actually talking, it's like it, you just see you see a shot of the ice cream. And there's just a voice emanating from it, like, hey, hey, you. Like, maybe like a used guys kind of thing. It's like, you better eat my cereal. It's we like, need to what's bring in back it? the talking hamburger. <laughs> yeah, we should. Sorry, but, um, go on. But yeah, so, yeah, he talks about how he wants uh, everyone to eat his cereal. And then <laughs> the kids will be like, wow, this tastes just like ice cream. And he's like, because it is. <laughs> and they're like, really? Then why isn't this in the ice cream aisle? And he's like, because it's not. What? Yeah. And that'll be the commercial. Yeah. Uh, all right. It's ice cream because it is. It's not refrigerated because it's not. <laughs> and there you oh. go. That's my ice cream cereal. Man, good <laughs> ideas. Hey, Kellogg Co. Hire us. I hope you. I hope you're hearing this, Kellogg Co. And actually, if you're hearing this, Kellogg Co. And if you like this, go ahead and give us a like and a thumbs up. It really it helps really us out. Yeah. <laughs> really helps us out. So, um, by the way, Kellogg Co. Product placement. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. By Kellogg Co. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that, good question. And this was a very, this is very creative, creative gentleman chat, I have to say. But um, yeah. So I guess, I guess this is it. This is the end. Bye. And we're done. Okay. Well.